Mm -hmm. uh, why not gather some additional loot along the way? I don't know who you are, but no one defies rebel fleet. If you say so. There is a boarding drone here. Uh, so it's good to pay attention, because if you blink you'll miss it. So I uh, charge the, the drone to shoot him down. Okay, now his, his other weapons, he has only a two-shot laser, so I can turn the shields down. He does have two missiles and a bomb. I won't do anything special about the bomb because I can't. Uh, and yeah, I think this is pretty much all I can do. I could, yeah, I, I will charge my ammo using weapons. Or maybe together with the laser, since I have some extra energy. No, oh, actually the drone got to me. Drones uh, have a lot of health points, they have 150 as opposed to 100 of uh, most people. They don't need to breathe, obviously. They cause a breach when they hit your ship. And when you kill one, the ship will just probably fire another one. So they, they can be really annoying. Okay, something exploded, probably a bomb. It killed the defense drone, so I have to take care of this. I try to attack their shields, but I miss. Okay, missiles are, are firing at me, but I don't have the drone up yet, so I will cloak now. Yeah. Freeman is in a bad shape. Yeah, the drone is gone. He's not firing another one, so he might be out of drone parts. The Mantis is trying to fix the breach, but that's not a good idea. I'll send the, I'll send the professionals. Uh, again, a miss. I'm using too much ammo now. Okay, that was more effective. What is happening? So much, so many things going on. It's hard to keep track sometimes. Uh, I will send them to the med bay and the pilot gets back into position. Uh, uh, didn't get this on time. I'm wasting too many missiles on this crap. Maybe I could just try to damage the med bay, charge in with the mantises. Maybe that's a better idea. I'll try this. Okay, I had to, I can use the drone now. Oh, and he's out of missiles. See, because the bomb launcher is ready, but it's not firing, so he's out of ammo. That's well. If that's the case, then I'm not going to waste any more ammo of my own. I'm just going to try to attempt to hit the med bay just with the lasers. Ouch! How did that happen? He's got beam drone. I didn't <laughs> didn't even notice that. Okay, so one more level of shields is required. Might take a while. Okay, if this takes too long, I'm going to do something about it. I don't want to bore you. Okay, but it didn't take very long. Nice. Uh, so, I can go inside. Now, I might want to charge my shield evading weapons just in case if I need to destroy the door system because they have upgraded doors so 
I don't have pre-movement. Since there is a breach there, then uh, this room will, yeah, it will be, it won't have any oxygen soon, right now. Okay, that's, that's dangerous. Hmm. I, think I should probably send those guys away now. Yeah, I will do this. That wasn't very effective. Maybe they won't be able to fix it. Okay, one more time. Okay. I might wait until they give up because they're losing health, because they're suffocating in this room. Yeah, they kind of gave up, okay. So I can go in here and take everyone on at the same time. Yeah, yeah, just finish them off one by one. Okay, great. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A lot of loot, a lot of loot from those last sectors. get all the energy I can get, maybe, close to max. Because um, I did recommend running a ship on low energy, but this applies mostly to the mid game. Because when you reach the boss ship, then you will need everything you have for the boss ship, so uh, then it, you won't be doing much micromanaging because uh, you actually want to have all the stuff that you can use. Let's see, I might want to buy even better engines. Evasion is always nice. Go here. fight again a boarding drone from here so I will shoot it down he also has missiles another reason to use this drone I only need one level of shields I have a lot of spare energy this is not a very good ship to board they have a drone they have a lot of guys Oh, got to me anyway. Okay, I'll try to destroy their shields now. Hmm. Oh, okay, he has a drone. Forgot about that. Next drone coming in. Oh man, next breach. This is kind of a waste of time, I don't think. I'm not sure if I should be fighting this guy. Maybe I should be just saving ammo for the real battle. Oh, getting hit too. Ah. I'm just going to jump away, I don't care. I'm going to... F uh. Yeah, I'm jumping away. I don't want to waste ammo, see? Uh, I could possibly destroy the ship, but uh, I want to save the ammo for the last battle, so... So, goodbye. Okay, I might try to fight him and see what he has. 
If it's a difficult situation, then I will just uh, jump away again. I'm still damaged from the last encounter. So I need to take care of this first. What does he have? Lasers? And drones. Does not have a uh, med bay, so that's good, but he does have strong doors. Strong doors. What should I do? Maybe hmm, try to hit the doors with the bomb. I'll try that. Again, I'm using ammo. Oh, I got hit. I have to send those guys in. Okay, the doors are down, so that's an an opportunity for me. Send in the bugs. Oops. System is broken. Mm, no, this. Kill them before I send them in. Okay, these guys repaired the piloting system. The pilot gets back in the seat. And reinforcements have arrived. This guy is in a bad shape. Send him to the side. And those guys should be enough to take care of this. Yeah. Now remember that uh, in a hand to hand combat, uh, only the guys who are standing next to each other are dealing the damage. It means that it, this enemy in this corner it cannot deal damage to anyone else than this guy who's right next to him. So the other guys are safe. So I can put them in here, even though they are low on health, but they are safe as long as this guy is just shielding them. Okay. Okay. Do get a lot of stuff. I actually got a, a few missiles. So uh, even though I used some, I got some. A lot of people got hurt because everybody hurts sometimes. Again, a little bit of confusion as to who should be doing what. Uh, Simon goes here, pilot goes here, engines have to get healed. Okay, Okay, I can actually get to the mm, ship now. I could go to the store, but do mm, I want to do that? Maybe I do, because I can uh, keep it just played safe and uh, repair myself. Because I have this much damage to repair. Okay, so I, I don't think I need to buy any more weapons. This just isn't anything new. You may want two breach bombs. Hmm. I think I... yeah, it, it's kind of not very uh, efficient. <laughs> uh, not, not a very efficient use of scrap, but... Uh, the, the boss ship will have a, a defense drone at some point, so it would shoot down my missiles, but if I, I have two bomb launchers, 
then the bombs bypass the drone and do a lot of breaches. So I prefer to do it this way. I will this time I will heal myself completely because I don't I cannot count on getting any free repairs anymore. I can sell this now. Just buy all the missiles he has so that I don't run out. Do I need a shield recharge booster? It might be more wise to just invest in my ship <coughs> the usual way. What do I need? I guess I could use a third level of teleporter. It's kind of tempting. Yeah. It's a luxury, but, uh, well, it is a bit useful, but it's not uh, vital. There's nothing here because the boss ship passed through this beacon and I think he kind of clears the area so nothing happens. I can get to him now. So I will do this. I think I'm ready, yeah. Okay, so this is it, the Rebel Flagship. Now, first this this level, this stage of the Flagship has uh, stealth, so you have to just wait it out. And when he comes back online, here's the strategy if you want to defeat the ship. Um, the ship is very powerful, it's got good shields, it's got a lot of different weapons and basically all the equipment you can get and a lot of crew inside see this one in each of these rooms and in the main area of the ship one two three four five six seven guys yeah so uh, boarding this area is very dangerous because he has a cloaking device which will prevent you from getting back to your ship uh, if, if, if he cloaks there's a teleporter no wait, the teleporter doesn't do anything, I kind of got confused here. Uh, he has a medbay, which is actually useful during hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, and he has the upgraded door, so going inside this part at this moment is very dangerous, but the main weakness of the ship is, got, is, is that he has these areas. The, his special weapons are here, Th these weapons are something you cannot get normally, they're, they're pretty powerful. So if, if I teleport myself uh, in one of those rooms, then those guys are isolated and no one can come in to help them and they cannot be healed. <clears throat> so this is something you should exploit. And I start from the missile launcher uh, because this is a laser, this is an ion and this is a beam. You can protect yourself fairly well against the lasers and the ions with your shields and your evasion if it's high enough. But missiles, um, you might use the cloaking if you have it to evade the first, uh, the first round, the first volley. But the second, uh, when the second uh, comes flying, you won't have the, it charged yet. So you can use the defense drone, but. This launcher fires three missiles at one one time, so it's unlikely that one defense drone will take care of them. So I like to take this out first, because I think it's the most dangerous weapon. And also, at the same time, I will charge uh, those weapons, the ammo using weapons, to try to attack their shields. Wait, ah, like that, okay. Okay. So the, the bugs are, are attacking this guy and will try to destroy the system. It gets to fire once, but it won't fire again, I don't think so. Now I can just cloak and the missiles will miss. Okay, I can try to launch the bombs. Okay, one did hit and there's a breach. I will charge them again, I think. I want to destroy the shields completely. I have a lot of ammo, so I can just uh, 
just launch the, the bombs. Okay. So the, the missile launcher is destroyed now. I can I can I teleport them back, but I have to wait for the cloak to uh, go away. Yeah. Let's go here. Recharge the oxygen. I'm going to bomb them. Now both bombs hit and he's got two breaches and those guys got badly hurt. So now I'm switching to laser since his shields are gone. Uh, might heal the mantises and send them again. Because I upgraded the teleporter system it's back online again, it's very quick then. Yeah, I can send them in. Oh, anywhere. This is fine. When the missiles are gone, I don't have any preferences, really. It's kind of safe when, when this goes down. Uh, so I, I can hit the shields again. <laughs> yeah. That was a good idea. I have to wait for the cloak to go. I can actually destroy it. Yeah. And it's on fire as well. I shouldn't do too much damage because I don't want to destroy this ship before I evacuate my guys. Uh, okay, I can just focus on the engines now. Okay, the this weapon is also destroyed. So they're back on my ship safely. Oh, he did manage to cloak. their cloaking system once again. Shields are coming back up but they're down again. Once the missiles are gone I feel safe. If I destroy another weapon I feel even safer because they're, they're not really able to deal any kind of damage now. No, it's going very well. I can just hit anything pretty much. Almost gone. Should be gone now. Yep. So a part of the ship gets blown away, but I still have to chase them. This is a kind of a this isn't isn't even my final form kind of scenario, where there's there are a few stages to the boss fight. Actually, the second one, the next one, I think is the most difficult. So let's brace for impact. I can. Do one last upgrade. Do I want to do this? Yeah, I might just give one more hit point to the drone system. It won't hurt. I'm just chasing them. Okay, so now this is a drone stage of the fight. They will be using drones extensively, including a boarding drone, so I will put up my Defense drone to shoot it down if possible. Uh, all of their systems are now repaired, so I have to get here again and destroy the system again. But uh, the crew, the crew you killed, it stays dead. <laughs> the systems get repaired, but no resurrection. So this room is now empty. And I will charge the bombs again. So they, they lost a portion of the ship and now they no longer have cloaking and they don't have the ions here. But they do have a kind of a special power and they are using the drone so it's not necessarily a weaker ship now. Actually I think the this part is the most dangerous potentially. Okay, one bomb hit might want to fire some more. Okay, my defense drone got hit by something and died, so I'm going to uh, use another. So you have to pay attention to that. Sometimes something hits your defense drone and it, it dies and there's no warning. You have to be careful because I've been in situations where the drone dies, I don't didn't notice and some scary missile flies in and everything is on fire and I don't even know why. 
So try to pay attention to the drone, whether he, he is even there or not. Okay, the missiles are gone, so uh, bugs are getting back. Okay. Now, this, this is power surge, this is the special kind of a super weapon this uh, stage has, and what it does is is a great number of drones appear. Uh, I think most of them are beam drones. Uh, so, in this situation, uh, as you might already know, if your shields are down, you are going to get hit so badly. There, there are five beam drones right now. If if my shield if my shields go to zero, the damage will be just horrible. But I don't think I'm in uh, I I don't think I'm in danger of having my shields broken. And as long as I have even one point remaining, I'm fine. Because no matter no matter the number of the beam drones, they cannot get through shields. Okay, their shields are gone, so I'm switching again to the lasers. And actually, just to be on the safe side, I might want to cloak during this power surge, so that you know they just fly around and boom, they can't do anything. And. During this time, my weapons are fully charged. I can fire at the, at the engines and then at the drone system since they are using those drones so much. I will hurt them a little bit where it hurts. I will hurt them where it hurts. That's a nice phrase. Uh, keeping the shields down. Doing some more damage to the drones. Okay, actually now my shields are down. Okay, now my shields are even damaged. So I really want to keep them up in this case. So I, I will send everyone I can, four guys inside the room. Because that's kind of dangerous. I So I will just make sure that he doesn't make much damage. I will keep on attacking the drone system and now it's destroyed okay so that's good my shields are up again the, the repairing speed of those guys is just fantastic uh, Jacob left his post so he's going to get back here and I think I need to cloak again maybe not Trying to keep their shields down, they're almost dead now. So I think uh, the key points to remember in this stage is that uh, they will have a defense drone, so your, your missiles will not be very effective. This is the reason why I bought a breach bomb instead of, a, instead of using the peg Pegasus launcher, because the bombs won't be stopped by this. And also because of the insane amount of beam drones you really make it a priority to keep the shields up because if they go down for even a few seconds you might get really badly hurt okay but this is just yeah they're gone and I think this is the most uh, difficult phase the next one is not so bad just make sure in the, in the top condition. Okay. Can I buy anything? Not really. <laughs> Not really, no. I should be fine. Oh, uh, you know, he jumps here. So I can actually jump here and get repaired and get a little bit of stuff just to be sure why not I still have time so it's okay and here you get repairs for free and you get a bit of stuff and this is uh, there's no risk involved so yeah free stuff pretty cool so yeah I, I won't 
go exploring something else. Sometimes I, I wanted to do this to just maximize the scrap if I cared about the score, because uh, it affects your score. If you want to get a high score, then you want to explore as many beacons as you can. Uh, even if when it's not necessary for finishing the game, I think it's not necessary now, so I don't care about the high score now, I just want to kill the ship. Show you how to do it. So I'm just going straight here. Yeah, you're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well. Some kind of a super weapon, be prepared. This is it. This is it. So, this stage, not so scary. Maybe he does have a big salt and shield. You know, the kind of green shield that stops everything and prevents you from boarding. And it's more powerful than usually. Uh, it has more endurance. And one of his special powers uh, gives him the ability to recharge this shield. Although it doesn't happen very often. So, uh, once, uh, once you bring this green shield down, then it stays down for a while. Okay, I will shoot them with the lasers and I will also charge a bomb, I don't have to care about ammo now, I have a lot, this will last me, this is the last stage so 25 units of ammo will surely be enough for one encounter. So the thing that's going to happen, yeah, the missiles are firing at me and I can't teleport here just yet before the shield is gone, so I'll just have to cloak, wait it out, mm -hmm. that's good, now, okay, I'm going to shoot at them, but just remember that if you shoot uh, your weapons while you're uh, cloaked, then the cloak kind of goes away a little bit, It you decloak faster, unless you have a special augmentation, but I don't really care now, I just wanted to avoid the missiles. another guy <laughs> okay I actually yeah I survived no it took no damage but it did hit my shields this is his other special power he just shoots a, a torrent of fire of, of heavy laser fire at you but if you have good evasion and good shields you don't need to use any special tactics and if you have cloaking, then it's even better. Right, so the missiles are, are firing again. I don't have the cloak available, so I just have to switch on the defense drone. Maybe I maximize my uh, evasion and just hope for the best. If I get hit, I get hit. I did get hit. In two spots. I can put out the fire by just uh, venting the oxygen out. There's a breach here, but I don't really care, this is an outer room, it can stay this way. Okay, now his uh, green shield is gone, so I can teleport those guys in here and finally destroy those nasty missiles. And I will switch to the bombs again, because I want to take care of the ordinary shields now. This is the same stuff that I, were, I, I was doing. Uh, before, uh, during stage one and two. Okay, so now, uh, fortunately, the missile launch and the the torrent of uh, laser fire happen more or less at the same time. So I will probably be able to evade both with just one long cloak. Let's see. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now going for the shields. And the shields are almost gone. Uh, he has only one crew member left. Now if you kill everyone on board this ship, it actually switches to AI mode and starts repairing all the rooms uh, automatically like uh, you know like those drones that don't have any crew on board. So uh might be a good idea to let him live, but if, if he dies uh, accidentally, then I won't cry. I'll hit here and the engines. 
Okay. So this is looking good. His defenses are in, in, in a bad shape. He's firing all the lasers at me. I should be fine. Yeah, I didn't get hit. Okay. I have good evasion. I have good shields. It's enough. Uh, just keep keep attacking what I what I was attacking all the time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Now that the crew is dead, the AI system has taken control. So the ship is still operational. You still have to destroy it, and it repairs itself, kind of. But the rate is not enough. This is really the end, my friends. This is the end. The ship is going to blow up any second now. Actually, it's going to blow up right now. Yeah. I love this sound. Don't you just love this sound? You finished the game. Sound of triumph. So, that was it. I hope you found this video educational. I hope you learned something from it. Uh, if you have any comments, I would be uh, thrilled to hear what you have to say. If you have any criticism, if you think I uh, did something wrong, which I probably did at multiple occasions, let me know. I would love to hear some feedback from you. And yeah, that was FTL, the uh, basic version. Let's wait for the expansion and all the cool stuff that will happen when it comes out. So. Yeah, see you, see you again, perhaps. I hope so. Bye-bye.